I remember when my mom took me to kindergarten. I told the teachers, like, I wrote a song. <laughs> right? I want to sing it for the class. She's like, oh, yay, yeah, good. I just wouldn't stop. She had to stop me. And I was just like, that was fun. Lisa, give, you can give me more than that. Really? OK. Give me some of the play with. Let me reel you in. <laughs> I rise from my bed. Collect my thoughts together. I have to hold my head. Seems that she's gone, leaving me too soon. During the Hands of Winter, I just indicated to Lisa that she should, you know, vocalize and do something to evoke the spirit of loneliness or whatever. And I, out comes this voice, you know, this amazing, uh, extraordinary, ghostly voice. So every time she's performed that with me, I've asked her to do that. <laughs> so incredibly versatile, then you almost, you're so talented, you almost get like option anxiety. Well, what do I do? Can I, should I stay with the R&B thing? Well, then R&B was so big at the time, then you're up against Whitney and Mariah and blah, and blah, and blah. Well, then maybe I should do a little bit more of the rock thing. And her phone rings and it's Mick Jagger and he says, join the Stones. When you can get someone like Lisa to step out, then you've got a whole new voice out there. like I could hear how Mick was singing that night and, you know, react to him a certain way. Like nobody else was in the room. It was freeing in a weird way. Why isn't she promoting herself and why is she out with the Rolling Stones all the time? It's because she's comfortable doing that. She loves doing it and she's got it all to herself. <laughs> she's not stupid. That's what it feels like to me. <laughs> 